All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. J. And yes, it's been a quite hard weekend considering we've lost Kylian Mbappe. And the reason why I'm doing this video is pretty much because it was impossible to me to cover all the things. I mean, it, I have been way busy trying to cover all what has happened over the weekend, as you know, with Kylian Mbappe in my Spanish, in my Spanish channel in YouTube and also in my Twitch channel. I've been streaming for a while on the Saturday thing and then Sunday a little bit and Friday. I mean, so to me, it was very, very complicated today to show up in front of the camera and try to gather all the information that we have, all the information that came out um, in the over the last three days, right? So I wanted to share with you all this uh, video that tries pretty much to summarize Okay, and put everything on perspective about all the drama regarding to Kylian Mbappe since Friday, when we learned, when we started to learn that something was going on, something was going wrong, actually, and the first rumors and speculations for Mbappe to stay in PSG um, started to pop up in all the shows and all the uh, TV shows, radio stations, YouTubers and all the stuff, right? So, um, yeah, on Friday, to me, uh, it was important because everybody learned something was going to be announced on Sunday, right? Apparently in Telefood, uh, Kylian Mbappe was going to show up to explain everything and of course, let us know his last decision, right? His final decision regarding whether staying in, P in PSG or um, signing for Real Madrid. But all of a sudden, on Saturday morning, when nobody was expecting for anything to happen, right? All of a sudden, like I said, in the like two hours before, two hours ahead of the game of Paris Saint-Germain against Mets, uh, Gianluca Di Marcio came out with uh, a tweet saying and claiming Kylian Mbappe had renewed finally his contract with PSG. So at that moment, everybody, literally everybody, journalists, people, YouTubers, streamers, I mean, went completely crazy because something was going on, but nobody knew exactly if what was going on was true or not, right? Right after that, right after that tweet, Jose Felix Diaz denied the news denied the tweet from Julia Gianluca Di Marzio and for a bomb for a moment for a bit we thought it was just rumors and speculations and nothing in reality was going to happen but unfortunately minutes later uh Romain Lomana in another tweet he confirmed the news from Gianluca Di Marzio and then as of that moment it was a kind of drop a massive drop a kind of waterfall coming out waterfall of news regarding to Kylian Mbappe staying in PSG uh, came out and there's no fight for us I mean it was completely done it was completely over and we started to see how Kylian Mbappe or the news regarding to Kylian Mbappe to stay in, in PSG were very true uh, were gaining some of, of, of kind of um, um, velocity and, and speeding up and at that moment, I learned that we had lost the player, right? So that's why I couldn't upload. I didn't have a chance to stop everything and make a video for you all, guys. So that's why I'm so sorry, because I was so busy, extremely busy, streaming all the time, making videos, trying to cover all the news, um, checking my Twitter account, checking my Instagram account, trying the news regarding to whether that was true or not. I mean... A completely he hectic uh, weekend, right? And right after that, uh, Kylian Mbappe showed up in a park uh, in the park of the princess in the in the PSG stadium. Yeah, showing off that jersey of the Paris Saint Germain staff with the in the bag with the number or the year he will uh, stay uh, in Paris Saint Germain 2025 because he has renewed his contract until 2025. And right after that, we started to learn more things regarding to all the things that had happened in the last week for Real Madrid to lose any hope regarding to the player. And apparently, Giuseppe Pedrerol, 
uh, the journalists that some, according to some people, had lost all the contact with Real Madrid. I mean, it's completely the other way. And Giuseppe Rolo is still and will remain as the most reliable source and legit source for all the Real Madrid things regarding or coming out from Florentino Perez. Giuseppe Rolo revealed the Kylian Mbappe texted to Florentino Perez saying something, I'm so sorry, but I have decided to stay in PSG. And Florentino responded saying, okay, so they have broken um, your childhood dream of playing in Real Madrid and, this, and that stuff. I wish you the best, right? He was very politically correct and, and polite and gentle as usual. So, I mean, of course, Florentino Perez is not going to say something hard or aggressive to the player, right? But for us, it was a treason, man. It was like this guy is betraying us to all those Madridistas. And we were completely crazy. We went crazy, literally all of us, including me. Because for us, as of that moment we learned he was going to stay in PSG, this guy is a, is a traitor, right? That is the word. It's a traitor because he has no honor. He has no word. And um, I don't know, man. All the journalists, Jose Felix Diaz, lose, I mean, lost his mind, and Giuseppe Lola as well, and Tomas Roncero. Everybody, literally everybody, lost his mind towards Kylian Mbappe because this guy has been playing Real Madrid. Because last year, he had a contract and he wanted to leave PSG and play for Real Madrid, but something happened in the last week, and that is something that he has confirmed in the press conference that he has held like one hour ago in France. And he confirmed he wanted to play for Real Madrid last summer, but something changed last week, since Tuesday, I think, that changed his mind and made him stay in PSG. And now, he showed up in the press conference claiming and saying, no, it's good for me, it's good for my country, uh, we, I mean, this is just about the sporting project and stuff like that. But we all know it's not true. We all know PSG has put on the table 300 million and 100 million after taxes salary per year, which is completely crazy and insane. And of course, La Liga, the Spanish La Liga is going to sue these guys from PSG if all these numbers and figures are true, because they are vulnerating and they're violating all the fair, um, the fair financial play rules from UEFA. But you know what the problem with UEFA is, right? UEFA is a very good friends with uh, PSG and Al-Khalifi, so I don't think it's going to happen anything to them, right? So, I mean, I don't want to extend for so long the video about this because you all know already what has happened and, and you are very aware uh, of all the situation and what is going on right now and that he will remain in PSG. So I don't want to keep talking over and over again about the same thing. But from our side, from Los Madridistas side, we are very, very sad. And it's kind of, um, yeah, because the way we feel right now is betrayed. We've been betrayed. And for us, this is a public enemy. It's the public number one enemy for all Los Madridistas right now. And all the things that he has stated in that press conference is bullshit. It's pretty much bullshit, right? So don't pay attention to it. It's just the kind of thing he has said just for kind of excuse himself or something like that. And the mother is worse because when, when they flew all the way to Qatar, they sign up another agreement with, with Paris Saint-Germain, and we didn't know anything about that. So he lied to Florentino Perez. He lied to everybody because he, he waited until the last minute to say anything to anybody. And Real Madrid were starting to suspect anything, that something wrong was, was going on. Because he was not responding to calls. He was not responding to anything. So Giuseppe Perello, that was the same day when Giuseppe Perello said, mm, something is going on here. And now we know he was not cheating at us. He was not lying at us. He was not doing any kind of, or performing any kind of drama, fake, fake drama or something like that. No, he was very 
for, he was very real and he was telling us the truth. So now we've lost the guy, he's gone. And of course, to me, hopefully, this guy never ever played for Real Madrid because I don't want this kind of traitor in my team, honestly. He's not at the level enough to dress the Real Madrid jersey, honestly. So um, I hope you guys liked the video. I, I mean, although in spite of the, the bad news, and of course, subscribe my channel. More news are coming up, of course, regarding to signing and stuff, because I'm pretty sure Florentino Perez will sign more uh, players, but it, it'll take some time. So now, subscribe to the channel, guys. Um, thumbs up if you like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.